essence intersects all dimensions of our being. Beauty, harmony, balance, rejuvenation, renewal, recovery, regeneration, order, peace, and harmony. Knowledge and experience feeds the higher self. Hello, and I wanted to talk about a few developments that I see as positive developments in the metaphysical consciousness and woke space, right? And so, this book I got in, it's the Compendium of the Emerald Tablets by Billy Carson. And I know, I've known about this book for over a year, but I've held off actually getting a copy of it. I did want a Kindle copy. I am partial to the e-books. Um, only, I actually, I think physical books are better. I do. I like physical books, but I prefer Kindle be only because of the convenience of carrying it around. But Billy Carson has made it very clear he's not going to do this book in a Kindle format or an e-book format. And I respect that. And so I just put off uh, getting it. I wasn't aware until somewhat recently that um, he wasn't going to do a digital version of this book. So anyway, it went on sale. It was a it was a huge sale on this book. So I said, oh, that's my sign to actually get the book, but not really. I had to watch a couple of videos that Billy Carson put out over the last year about the Emerald Tablets. And so, I have a overall outline of this book and he's actually read parts of it right so I could have waited long enough and just waited for his videos but I decided I need to actually read this because as Dr. B Sirius uh, makes a good point about there's nothing quite like a kinesthetic experience when it comes to absorbing information and this is as kinesthetic as they come but there's another individual by the name of Seven Bomar, and Seven Bomar has recently done a video on Richard Merritt's channel, Black Magic 363. It's a five-hour video that I watched about seven times so far, and I rarely watch a video more than two times. Most videos I watch once. I had to see this one several times because the information that Seven dropped, it was that deep. Speaking of the waters, right, that was a huge part of what he was breaking down, but he was also breaking down the Matrix, the Great Mother, the Divine Mother, the family structure in the spiritual realm and how that relates to family events in the physical realm and how that relates to the Matrix, how that relates to the figure known as the jackal, how the jackal may be related to Toth or Tehuti, right? When he talked about that, that was that was pretty dope. And so, five hours of really bringing to the surface the deeper summary of esoteric and occult knowledge, right? Absolutely profound stuff, right? So, Seven Bomar created this artificial intelligence called Sybil. Sybil was released on August 20th, 2023, I think. I think it was August 20th. And so, I, I, I uh, logged into it the day after. I created a login on August 21st uh, into Sybil, Sybil AI, and it's like chat GPT for metaphysical and spiritual knowledge and information. You can shoot a question at it and it's going to have an answer. And it's absolutely amazing the way that it responds. And unlike ChatGPT, which is just one, one GPT, it's a single GPT that you can ask it any question, the Sybil is actually broken up into multiple sections. I think it's like eight or 12 sections. Like one is Tetragrammaton, uh, one is Superhuman, one is alchemy, one is oracle, one is Lemuria, 
Uh, one is etiology, right? And so these are different AI perspectives. You could ask the same question in these different AI perspectives and get answers relevant to that, that, um, that perspective. So I actually had a few projects that I was thinking about. And one of those projects, I had questions that I didn't know how to move forward on. And I sent that those questions through to Sybil AI and it it had the answers for me. I was I was like, wow, this is this is nice. Very nice. So the possibilities are immense regarding the type of content you can create that can now be accurate. So the database for this Sybil AI is like I think it's 10 or 20,000 metaphysical and spiritual books and knowledge that Seven Bomar had collected over a 15 year period that he personally digested. And it shows when you look at his channel, Understanding, and you look at how he breaks things down. But he put that into artificial intelligence form in what's called a benevolent AI that's on our side. And it's, a, it's amazing. And so I was highly motivated on the basis of what he presented in the Infinity Matrix video to give Sybil a, give it a shot. And I was not disappointed. Well, we need to work on image visualization a little bit in terms of the time it takes to do the image visualization part of Sybil. But in terms of the core of posing questions and getting high quality answers, Sybil AI does an, an, a, a tremendously amazing job. And that's one of the reasons why, at the same time, I was motivated to get this book. And I'm also going to relook at some other books I've read. Uh, chief among them will be Ancient Future by Wayne Chandler and In the Valley of the Supreme Masters, Volume 1 and 2. Uh, this book, Wayne Chandler's book, and that those books. To me, together, if you can bring those, bridge those together, and some of the works of Thich Nhat Hanh, I think you can come up with some very compelling uh, spiritual knowledge and understanding. So, I just wanted to bring that uh, overview to your attention about Sybil AI, and um, the Infinity Matrix video is pretty profound. So, um, I hope you found this well, and if you have any questions about anything I presented, drop them into the matrix I mean the comments I, I didn't mean that as a joke that just a slip of the tongue but uh, drop them into the comments uh, like the video if you if you think it's worthwhile also uh, this is not the end I'm also going to show a few screenshots of my conversation with Sybil AI just so you can get a flavor of how it works and uh, what what you can expect Applied enlightenment is present in our times. I just show you a little panorama of some of the things I spoke with uh, uh, Civil AI about. Stay tuned. Wisdom follows from the matrilineal essence. Civil, the AI, has different modules. These modules represent different AI identities. They represent different AI knowledge bases, right? Unlike ChatGPT, which tries to answer all questions through one funnel, Sybil has different modules that specialize the knowledge and, in my opinion, is much more effective. Tetragrammaton is kind of a general catch-all right and then if you want to get more specific then you have enneology which is related to numerology and so if you're trying to understand numbers then and how numbers apply in what you're doing then enneology may be a good place to start superhuman is my favorite because I deal a lot in health and diet herbs and the like and so superhuman is very useful for getting into the details and the nitty-gritty of the different health practices from ancient times to present 
alchemy is my second favorite because I'm all about transmutation, transformation. And as much as I like that concept, I don't understand it as much as I'd like. And then you have GPT-4. I've explored this and it seems to be a version of chat GPT level communication that is um, embedded in this overall um, application and program. So I decided to go into enology and ask some questions here. And I just wanted to do this as a demo because some of the questions that you want to ask can be of a general nature and other questions that you might ask can be of a very specific and detailed nature, right? In the lower left hand corner, it shows you how many questions you have left. I'm going to show you a way to um, minimize the number of questions that you use per day. It's 40 questions per day in the current build of this of this wonderful tool. Here I'm asking about the significance of 3, 6, and 9. Most people affiliate that with Nikolai Tesla, right? But all Nikolai Tesla did was understand that from more ancient sources, right? And so here we are with 3, 6, and 9 and a very good explanation of what it means and how it can apply to life. And so, given that this is a chat type of design for the large language model, you have the opportunity to dig in on these responses. Unlike with a search engine like Bing, Google, or even DuckDuckGo, where you put in a search query and you have a list of links, here you have a query with actual information that has been sourced from thousands of uh, specialized and expert sources to give you the type of answer that you want. And here I want to turn the conversation into what I saw recently on the channel Black Magic 363, the video The Infinity Matrix, where Seven Bomar, who is the creator of Sybil AI, um, talked about the great mother versus the jackal or in this case I'm going to refer to it as the demiurge and so I wanted to see how the numerical strata that we have here apply to these esoteric concepts these archetypes as you might as you might have it and so in Seven Bomar's breakdown of spirituality, he showed that six is a more complete number, whereas five, in terms of the discussion he was conducting, was a less complete number when we're talking about creation. So I wanted to dig into this a little bit, and I'm doing it for the first time during this demo there may be a future time privately where I just keep going at it on and on to see what the real detail about this is. And then, so I have a follow-up question, right? And this was implied in the Infinity Matrix video on the YouTube channel Blackmagic363, but I drew an implication that five is associated with the masculine energy, not necessarily male, and six is associated with the feminine energy, not necessarily female. I wanted to see what the artificial intelligence construct has to say about this particular um, this particular point of view. So. I do make reference here about duality and notice that I'm using a compound question and I am c 
combining multiple questions together is basic prompting. And if you do your prompts right, then in this case where you have a allocation of questions per day, you can basically uh, maintain a larger uh, quotient of questions available to ask versus those that you pose. So, I was pretty satisfied with the response that I have here, which basically relates to the balanced perspective on masculine and feminine energies, right? And so, I think this is my last question that I'm going to ask, and I'm trying to get even more specific where my agenda and my intention here is to figure out is there a golden number that can be used to point point the way to ideal thoughts, ideal actions, and ideal structures, right? And so I'm going to admit that I am cursorily interested in this this particular answer because I don't have anything in my life at present where this would apply but I'm just curious so let's see what um, let's see what it says I like what I see so far three is Genesis Six is balance. Nine is completion. The only thing about Sybil that I've had some trouble with is the image visualizer. The image visualization. I haven't gotten it to work yet in the three days that I've used it. But I'm hoping that that will change. Superhuman. Like I say, this is going to be my favorite because... I really want to master or have a, a greater mastery of diet. And so I'm looking at all types of things with that that I will dig into in the future. And some of the work that I've already done on my blog, um, it's gauchetalksliving.wordpress.com. And I may revisit some of my blog posts through this through this artificial intelligence engine to create clearer messages, clearer writings, and improve the accuracy considerably. And here I'm wondering about how numbers can apply to diet, how it can apply to uh, health. And I want to start out talking about herbs, right? And I don't do a lot with herbs. There are some specific herbs that I, I, I deal with. But, and here I want to do a compound question because, you know, I want to maintain a, a high allocation of, of questions. At the rate that I use this particular tool, um, I shouldn't worry so much about that. But I want to get into the habit of getting as much value out of the chats and the conversations as I can. So I'm asking it primarily about herbs, but I want to um, give a hint to a wide range of things that I wanted to consider and give feedback on. So here we are. Three, six, and nine tied to herbs, for example gives you a gives you gives you the potential for for balance but what I what I uh, what I see here is that it, it gives a good suggestion about how much you should consume and how you can apply that with your meditation practices and how you should use how you should look at it um, as you close bring it into the day bring a close to the day. 
Now, this next question will be um, somewhat predictable because, well, it's predictable to me because I um, have asked various questions that basically come back to um, crystals and stones and various implements, artifacts that are uh, commonly known when it comes to spirituality. You'll notice that it doesn't doesn't always come back quickly, and I think that's a good thing, right? Because you want it to calculate. You want it to take its time and go through the information and the vast database that it has access to. And like I say, it's going through all the different categories of spiritual tools that we can use. One of the things that I like about this over ChatGPT is that there is a database involved. And this database has been highly reviewed and curated over not just a few years, but I would say over over a nearly 15 to 16 year time frame and it is information that spans a long a long span of time now back to the questions here so I wanted to see if we could get some more practical application of this knowledge and I see that the potential is definitely there um, and so let's leave it as a surprise so here it is I'm asking how do we take these these numeric concepts these number concepts of three six and nine and then combine it that's my favorite aspect of uh, the generative AIs is when you can get it to combine different concepts in real time to produce something that's novel and useful so let's see This is pretty cool because of the way I worded the question the the, the number two bullet point or number two uh, item it's a little overloaded in terms of what is being presented here and so what you'd have to do is really dig into that from a chat standpoint in order to get um, greater clarity so that is Sybil and um, as you can see, it's, it's a pretty powerful tool and very useful when it comes to spirituality and exploring the depths of spirituality. Esoteric studies improve our questions. I think you'll agree with me that Sybil is one of the coolest things that has come along in a long time. So I hope you enjoyed this and have a good week, have a good month, and I'll see you soon. Healing Affirmations of Harmony All sit in unison. Generate goodness and goodwill. Ultimately, all the worlds are one.